All right, y'all, my content is all about being healthier and living in just a more happy life. But I went shopping yesterday and I saw these and I was tempted. I didn't get them, I didn't get them. But look at that, I mean, seriously. Whew. How's it going, everybody? Today is day two of using the Calm app. And last night, I used it as some music to go to bed to, and it was absolutely awesome. It was a uh, one hour plus long track by Sam Smith. Um, really, really awesome stuff. I slept like a baby. I'm the kind of person that needs to sleep with white noise, whether it's a fan or a dehumidifier or something. Um, so the music that they have on there is pretty awesome. So I really enjoyed that last night and I'm gonna use it again tonight because I loved it so much. Uh, I think I'll switch it up though and try a different track. On the agenda today is, well, what I've already done is I have done some studying, did some uh, notes and things, and then I also went to the gym, did some legs, and now I have class at one o'clock, got about a half an hour until class. So preparing for that and really just uh, should be a good day. I have off tomorrow and I have off Monday and Tuesday, which is really awesome. So happy fourth and let's have a great day. Just like that, the weekend has begun. It's a long weekend too, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Uh, I'm going to make some dinner and then I'm gonna jump on the Calm app and we'll see how it goes. Yes. Day went well overall. Uh, did some EKG lectures and then got to hang out with the second year class to do some cases, which was really nice. There's some stuff on there that was definitely uh, challenging, challenging. Um, but I loved it. It was good to see everyone. And I can't wait to get back on campus to see my class and, and the second year class. So, ooh, I will show you what's for dinner tonight too. Stay tuned. Do you know what's better than any app? Grilled swordfish, delicious. Five minutes each side, done. Right, I'm done with dinner, which was absolutely delicious. And also did the mindfulness app as well with my partner. Today's was about day two of handling anxiety and being aware of where you hold your anxiety. And for me, 100%, I hold my anxiety in my neck and in my jaw. And I didn't realize this until this session. Tuning into how anxiety manifests as physical sensation helps us become more aware of the interconnectedness of our being. Some people complain of uh, maybe belly pain or sort of nausea or not in their stomach type of thing. But for me, it's all, it's all neck and jaw. Being aware of that and in tune with that is kind of the whole point of this lesson is understanding where you hold anxiety and being cognizant of that moving forward so that I have a better idea of when anxiety is hitting me harder. So when I have a tighter jaw or a tighter neck, and I kind of can relate this to uh, just medical practice as I'm going through school. Um, you know, as, as providers, you, you try to gain as much information as you can about a present illness in order to accurately diagnose and make an assessment. And the more information that I can gather from that person, the better and more accurate I may end up being. And so being in tune and a part of your own body is a huge help for the provider in that sense. You know, again, I, I haven't really prioritized my mental health and just being being present and knowing how to do that is is so helpful, so advantageous. So that voice, is so soothing and I love that they have running water and just like this white noise that's underneath the active voice that's talking about the mindfulness so great awesome all right day two in the books day three tomorrow tomorrow's Friday I might have something special tomorrow we'll see <laughs> 